First of all, we have the, uh, the lower head grade. Uh, it means more material needs to be processed, uh, means more energy, uh, higher cost for water, uh, and, and, and wears and spares. And then of course we have the water scarcity. Either there is no water or there is uh, a far distance to the, to the sources of the water. And then we have the complexity of the ore. Uh, it's much more difficult to dewater the material. And this is typically due to the fine grinding. And these are the, the factors that we need to handle in today's operation. But over the last year, uh, additional requirements have emerged uh, and set their agenda here. And uh, first of all, we are talking about the dam failure or the high risk of dam failure. Uh, but then we have the sustainability agenda here and really the, the, the uh, license to operate. We are talking about the recovery of water or actually I should say the responsible use of water. And the same thing applies to uh, energy uh, or chemicals in the process. We have the social aspects, the social responsibility, legislation, regulation. We have environmental reasons. Uh, and of course, we, we also have the responsibility of, of uh, extract the value in the tailings, meaning reprocessing, reprocessing of uh, existing legacy dams. Um, and we have, of course, the closure of the mine that is, is a part of this. And just recently, uh, I, uh, I have seen that there's a huge pressure coming from the investors as well. It's no longer uh, the matter of finding the technical most suitable uh, equipment or solution. It's about the transformation into a sustainable uh, development. Therefore, it's a matter of priority and we are a part of that development. So our elevated uh, view is to challenge the conventional and take into consideration the end of mind strategy. This is a very interesting question. I think that um, if we go back uh, and look into the past, uh, we can see the San Marco accident in Brazil in 2016 as an alarm clock. Um, and it was obvious that the, uh, the activity level went up quite a lot. And, uh, and a lot of mining companies, they were looking into uh, what do we need to do uh, in the, when it comes to the risk of, of the tailing dams, etc. But it never reached the point where the, where the industry uh, went together and, and evaluated the, the, the conventional methods, if, uh, if that's the right thing to do. But in 2019, in Jan January 2019, uh, we had a tragic dam accident uh, in Brazil again. And, and overnight, uh, it changed everything. Suddenly, it becomes a matter of, of uh, life and death. Therefore, the uh, ongoing activities uh, within the many mining companies and OEM, the activity level is on a very high level at the moment. From our perspective, uh, uh, it became obvious that everybody is looking for a reliable solution to it, and instead of short-term fixes or short-term solutions. I would say we are seeing a typical change or transformation behavior where everybody try, try to understand the situation and, and figure out what is the way forward. Many organizations, they are well prepared and they have been working with this for a while, but I would say that a lot of organizations, they are lost or carefully reluctant. Perceptions and a conventional view uh, is still dominating the discussion of what is the way forward. The ability to unlearn and relearn, uh, that will become much more important to figure out what is the way forward. As an example, only 5% of all tailings generated in 2018 was dewatering one way or another. And I, I think the figure speaks for itself. Uh, we need to, to have a sustainable agenda.